The end of January was a significant landmark for the team, out of the relegation places for the first time in five months. We were soon back down there, though, thanks to a 2-0 defeat at Newcastle, but then Norwich made the first of two visits in a fortnight to Goodison Park. Now Ablett, finding Andy Hinchcliffe. Exchanges passes with Vinnie Samways. Hinchcliffe coming forward, the Norwich defence opening up somewhat, tries the chip, but wasn't really going to trouble Norwich goalkeeper Andy Marshall with that. Crowd thought it was worth the effort. Andy Hinchcliffe, as you see, three or four yards over the top, but Everton asking the questions early on here. Chance to breach this Norwich defence. Hinchcliffe will take the free kick. In towards Paul Ryder, heads down, but, well, the only place he wasn't going to score from that distance was the header he provided, ultimately. It was straight at the young Norwich goalkeeper, Marshall, and he was happy just to scoop the ball up a yard either side, and Ryder must have scored. But Everton... Almost total domination of this match now. As Hinchcliffe comes forward. Doesn't need any invitations to gallop into the opposition's half. Fine, Stewart, great pass, good finish. 1-0 Everton. Well, Graham Stewart's running off the ball was excellent there. And the precision of the pass was exemplary from Andy Hinchcliffe. There you see it. There's the run from Stewart. Marshall left with no chance. And that's 1-0 Everton, a fine goal. Well appreciated by the Goodison Park crowd. Here's Samways. Finding Ebrill, and now Barry Horn checks. He's got Earl Barrett in support. Now, can Barrett find a decent cross here? Ride out challenges, leaves it. Might fall here for Ablett, shoots, took a deflection off the outside of the post. And it's hands on head time for those Everton players. <laughs> Gary Ablett has a fierce look at that right upright. You'll see how close he was. And Everton still holding on to a 1 0 lead here. There's David Unsworth. What a rich future in the game he's got. Finds Andy Hinchcliffe. He's got Samways out to his left-hand side. Now, Vinny Samways might think about attacking the dead ball line. He does so. Great crossing position here. Samways right out at the far post, and he makes it 2-0. Beautifully set up by the former Tottenham player, Vinny Samways, who's been out of favour for the last three months, coming off the substitutes bench to great effect here today. And Rideout found the positive downward header. No chance for the Norwich City goalkeeper. So 2-0, Everton lead, and Norwich not looking like they're going to get back into this one, but still bravely coming forward. Here's a chance for Ashley Ward, and now Mike Milligan. He shoots, no power, but unfortunately it's found the bottom corner of the net. Unbelievable, Mike Milligan scores against his former... A two-all draw at Upton Park against West Ham United was next on the menu. Now Tony Cotty gets a touch against his former Everton teammates, of course, tonight. A big evening for him. Takes on that Blues defence. Gets round one, then another. Abla can't get there, and Cotty scores. Well, you almost could have written the script, couldn't you? Tony Cotty, well, that's pleased his manager, Harry Redknapp, all right. And West Ham take the lead. Everton trying to restore parity now. Barry Horn shoots, deflects off Steve Potts as the rain hammers down here at Upton Park. And Horn knows that he was close to an equaliser there. Ferguson into Stewart, well laid up here by Graham Stewart. And it's not Martin Allen who charges it down, it's deflected off Steve Potts to number four. And McCloskoe wouldn't have stood unearthly if that reached the bottom corner. Now the corner comes in from the far side. Ablett heads it across goal and Rideout turns that one in from the narrowest of angles and Everton have equalised. Paul Rideout delighted with that. It's 1-1 here. And you'll see from the corner that Ablett causes the problems at the far post. It's off the line by Potts. It breaks for Rideout as well to turn in a very tight area. And from the most oblique of angles, he squeezes in the equaliser. Ablett's headed down. This is where Rideout picks up possession. He's got defenders all around him, but he spins on the proverbial sixpence and gets it in off a Palace heel in the end. We'll have one more look at it. It's worth looking at, really, because this is just about as narrow an angle as you could possibly get. And Rideout makes it 1-1, and that's sure to a broader smile as it does to the face of the Everton manager, Joe Royal. So, Everton, back on level terms, struggling to get this one clear. Stewart, Barrett in a little bit of trouble. It's a solid tackle by Don Hutchison. Danger here. Cross comes in, Cotty's there, and it's a simple header, and West Ham are in front. And Tony Cotty has put two nails into the coffin of his former teammates tonight, and Everton have it all to do again. 
in these very heavy conditions here in London. Limpar now steps inside a challenge, chance here for the Swede, shoots it, oh, it's there! And it's Everton 2, West Ham 2, and the travelling Evertonians in Joe Royal has got a smile again. Ludic McCloskoe's not smiling, it's 2-2. As you see, Limpar picking up the delightful chip down the line from Hinchcliffe, set himself for the shot, it deflected, they got the luck of the deflection off Steve Potts, but they'll take anything that's going in this match, and it's been a good game, and the Swede shot was a beauty, Miklosko stood no chance.